<laughs> that was a good one. I've been seeing this video online by Andrew JRT. I haven't watched it yet. It's called Tekken 8 is hilarious. I'm guessing it's gonna be one of those Tekken videos with all these crazy edits. <laughs> Prepare yourself, guys. Whoa, wait, huh? Already? <laughs> oh my God. It's just ridiculous, man. Is this what Tekken has become, guys? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if any of you guys know, but Kuma is one of the most annoying characters to fight against. Not because he's actually good, but because nobody uses him. And because no one uses him, when you fight against him, no one knows how to deal with it. What is going on here, man? What? Oh. Wait, no. Okay. Villas were only one minute in, by the way, guys. And it's been like 1500 edits. I'm going to throw that out there. Secondly, I need to know what goes on in the mind of the people that edit these videos. Because you can't be sane and create something like this. I'm telling you now, guys, you cannot be mentally okay and create something like this. Let's continue. See? Me just talking about it in a bad way. I nearly died. Whoa, let's get back into this. Second down. Oh my god. You wonder how many matches are in this one video. Literally, forget about combos, forget about a story in a match, forget about it. Just go from rank to rank to rank in one video. That's what they can basically say in here. What is the purpose? What is the purpose of me even making Tekken videos anymore? It was perfect. Perfect. What is the purpose? Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what rank you're gonna end up on at the end of this video. Leave a prediction down below right now, guys. Let's see how far Kuma can get. He's nearly at range, huh? Oh, oh, is he gonna convert it? Uh, we don't get to see. Bro. Bro. <laughs> you gonna do it again? The dance? Okay. <laughs> I missed my chance. Oh no, the hitbox. Oh <laughs> no. That was a good one. Oh no. What is going on? What is going on? And there's a slightest chance that somebody might even get killed. You ruined it. You ruined it and I'm leaving. You win. Oh, perfect. Of course, of course. Never perfect. Oh, look. <laughs> She's dead. Yeah. Look 
Oh, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm even getting angry watching this because Kuma is just ridiculous, man. I swear down. The 10 hit combo. <laughs> Teddy Tubby. I wonder how long it took to edit as well. <laughs> what just happened? And where did they even get these references from? It's like their mind, that the knowledge in their mind, all the references, it just flows deep. They know everything in every show. Dead. Nope. <laughs> oh, I swear down this game. It's just ridiculous, man. Fish orgy. What? What is going on? Oh shit. Oh. Oh, that was pee. I think he might be dead. They did the right combo here. Huh? Oh, pee. Oh, pee. That killed. What is going on? Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't take this. How long are we in the video? We're only six minutes in. We've got 10 more minutes of this. Oh, whoever edited this, bro, that is crazy, man. I swear down. No, I guess my boy, Brian, you better kill this guy right now. Even though I know it's not going to, man, it's deep. It's deep. Yeah, it's deep. It's deep. Oh, no. Guy flying through the ranks. Eek. That's what you get. Oh, it's done. It is done. Man got, she got mauled by a bear in a video game. Oh, he's made it to the promised land. Still got a long way to go. Don't forget, guys, your predictions. What round do you think you're gonna make it to by the end of this video? I didn't even give mine. I'm guessing you're gonna get to probably Fujin. Cause I'm not gonna lie, those ranks, getting through those ranks is a myth. All this gimmicks he's doing won't work at those ranks. Maybe it works with Kuma, but Fujin took my prediction. I went to a friend's house who had the PlayStation, and we tried this new fighting game. It was Tekken 2. Tekken 2 was the first fighting game I ever played. And I absolutely loved it. Hey, yo, you win. I basically went from punching Goombas to beating the crap out of each other on Tekken. It is and actually him my talking. Characters were Law and Yoshimitsu. I just remember having so much fun trying to learn their 10 hit combos. <laughs> After Tekken 2, I didn't play any of the sequels until Tekken 8. That's a bit odd, but I was busy with my Nintendo games and then first person shooters took over. Halo, Call of Duty, <laughs> Destiny, all of that. The only fighting game I've played since is Soul Calibur. Oh shit. Oh, oh he killed himself. <laughs> This is slow as the video has been, by the way. And I get an invite to the Tekken 8 closed beta. And I was like, yo, count me in. I was curious to see what Tekken had evolved into. So I downloaded the game, went online, and I chose to play King. On my first match, I had no idea what I was doing, but neither did my opponent. And it was fun. After that, though, I gotta be honest, I got my ass whooped most of the time. It felt like everyone knew what they were doing apart from me. I did have some success after learning some of King's grab combos though. I just found it hilarious locking your opponent into these long animations. Like this guy could have made a coffee, gone to the loo, and by the time he gets back, I'd still be going. Literally. 
After learning some moves, I became really eager to improve at this game. See, I knew it. I was no one can maintain that level of editing for that long. It's ridiculous. They're probably going to get back to it, though. At least I hope so. Now. So what did I do? I bought Tekken 7. I'm really glad I did because this game reminded me of why I enjoyed Tekken so much as a kid. I chose to learn this character called Kunimitsu because she had similarities to a Soul Calibur character I played called Taki. <laughs> the character I play the most is Taki, just simply because she's got huge daggers. So at this point, <laughs> I'm still no good at fighting games. I could do the combos, but I didn't really know much else. KO. That was until Mortal Kombat 1 released. I'm on my fighting game arc now, so I bought this too, and I ended up playing it for the next few months Why while everyone I just lips in. Eight. I collected a bunch of good clips, but I accidentally deleted the bloody folder. Um, I played Melina mostly, and this game taught me a lot about fighting games. As soon as you realize it's about frames, you're good. So finally, Tekken 8 was released. About time! I was excited to play after all my practice, but once I hopped on, I quickly realized realized, yo, Tekken is completely different to Mortal Kombat, and I straight up forgot how to play Tekken 7. And I kind of felt like a new player again. That was kind of a good thing, though. When it came to choosing a character, I I'm guessing that's the end. We're not going to see rank up anymore. Kuma. Devil Jin because I want to see the guy make it to Fujin. And he can shoot lasers from his head. Uh, and Kuma because, well, he's a bear, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> As you know, we went with Kuma, and I'm very glad I did, because despite his intimidating appearance, Kuma adds a lot of humor to the gameplay. <laughs> it's the same with Panda. They both have similar movesets, and I wasn't expecting to laugh so much while learning to play. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Senpai Jin. I found you at last, honey. <laughs> well, go on then. <laughs> So the first thing I did when I launched Tekken 8 was hop into the practice mode and try combo challenges. Tekken does a really good job at teaching you how to play. It basically takes you by the hand, kisses it, and says, it's okay, my dear, this is how you do it. Bro. After the practice mode, I hopped online. I'm going to pause it real quick, because this guy... <sighs> you can't give us all of that crazy edits, then halfway through, just abruptly slow it down like this. Because people click off. I'm not going to click off, because I'm invested now. I actually like watching videos in their entirety. You have to help people with audience retention, guys. Make sure you do that. Watch people's full videos. It helps a lot. But, bro, it's <laughs> like you slow down so dramatically. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Let me not lie to you. But let's just see where it, where it continues to go. And I played some unranked matches, and I was just trying to land some of Kuma's combos. My favorite combo at this point was to reconnect my broken Xbox controller, activate the Uno reverse move, spam two uppercuts, miss the third, and then slap them with a fish. Oh, no. That one was my favorite, yeah. I mean, it's either that one or the triple shin clap. <laughs> Kuma's uppercut is called Fresh Wind Bear the Fist, triple by shin the way, clap. and it's super satisfying to hit. I would try to start combos with this move, and I had a lot of fun testing how many times I could juggle my opponent. Dead. Two, three, three. Okay, guess we're not gonna get to count it. Oh. Yep, she's dead. The other move is called Fresh Salmon Hunter. This can be wound up and the damage is absurd. In the beginner phase, players are not prepared to get their knees clapped to a different stage <laughs> like this. <Do> <laughs> that damage is ridiculous. What? What? Oh, you're so taking that mix. The hard hitting moves, I started practicing the silly moves. And I ended up spending entire matches just trying to surprise my opponent with Kuma's funny interactions. Because of these fun moves, learning to play Kuma was completely stress free, which is kind of rare in a fighting game. Like, you know, Care Bears? I became Don't Care Bear. For example, my opponents would be sweating out combos, and I would just roll. Sometimes I would end up on the floor, so I would just grab their foot. <laughs> So he's just a troll character, more or less. So I would pressure them back by trapping them in the corner with Kuma's ass. And if 
I ended up on my back, I would just club them. I would knock them out. Guys having too much fun. For someone that has a lot of stress in this game, this guy's enjoying it too much. <laughs> is probably the most athletic character in the entire game. I mean, look at this flip. Vaya. I ended up learning the big combos too, but sometimes on Kuma, the best way to win was to just do something unexpected and silly. <laughs> Get off my property. The double poke. Giga slap. I'm hot right now. I'm hot. Oh my god. Is he dead? Oh my yep, god. he's dead. Oh my god. Come here. And of course, it misses Bam. completely. Bam. Bam. Again. Bam. One more. Yep, keep going. <laughs> So after a load of practice, I hopped into the ranked mode and I was kind of preparing myself to get destroyed like I did in the beta, but it went better than expected. Maybe it was my fighting game practice or maybe it was because I was playing as a bear, but for the first few ranks, I was clapping cheeks left and right. <laughs> the way this guy talks is so funny to me. The shin clapper, he's clapping cheeks. Who kept doing the splits. An experienced player might just jump or low block, but I was bamboozled at the time. I almost lost, but I ended up finishing it by slapping him with that wind up low attack. <laughs> As I made it up the ranks, it got more challenging, of course. Sometimes I would get completely destroyed, and honestly, it felt bad, but I would always- 26 win streak. streak. That was the only way to learn. Learn from it. And my learning experience on this game, it kind of went like this. At first, I was practicing the bread and butter combos, and I thought to myself, hey, I'm, I'm pretty good. Then I would get my ass beat, and I would realize it's not about the combos, it's about blocking. So I practiced blocking, and I thought to myself, okay, now I'm pretty good. <laughs> then I would get my ass beat again, and realize it's not about the blocking, it's about the movement. So I practiced movement. I got the combos, blocking, nice. movement. Finally, I'm getting good, right? Nope, just kidding. I rank up and I get completely destroyed again. I realized Tekken is really complicated, especially if you're new to fighting games. Everything I mentioned is important, but there's just so much to learn. But that's one of the reasons I'm enjoying it so much. I've played almost every day since launch and I really appreciate everything about it. I like the fighting mechanics, I like the character designs, I like the combos, the stages, the customization. The music is great too. I like all of it, okay? Apart from Victor. I completed the story <laughs> mode, by the way, and I was excited to see if Kuma would make an appearance in the cutscenes, and I can confirm, he did. You saved me. So the next stage of my Tekken journey is for me to decide which character to practice next. I might go with Yoshimitsu because he also has some amusing moves. Some of them look like glitches actually, and I like that. Or I might try Asuka. She's got quite a unique fighting style. I didn't know you could do like that. She's trying to shake two people's hands at the same time. And I like that too. As you saw, I've also been playing Panda. She's not as good as Kuma though because the uppercut is replaced with this jumping kick and it sucks. Or maybe I haven't figured it out yet. By the way, if you didn't know about the Panda Kuma lore, you're missing out big time. Long story short, Panda beach balls all the other characters, right? But when it comes to Kuma, she's blue balling him. She's... <laughs> 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 so that's my Tekken experience so far. Let me know what you thought of the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. It helps a lot. And thank you for watching. Oh, wow. That was a roller coaster. But yeah. I don't need to tell you about this guy's channel, even though I'm going to anyway. The guy's a million subscribers, Andrew JRT. I have a thousand subscribers, guys. So, me shouting him out, I'm not going to do anything for him. Nonetheless, there it is, guys. Go watch the video if you haven't already. It was a good video. I enjoyed that. Let me not lie. I enjoyed it. I am hoping, though, that Tekken 8 edits slow down a bit. But I do feel like this type, this type of editing is ruining like the true Tekken 8 fans, you know what I mean? People that don't want to click on the video and see some actual combos, some actual gameplay, actually see a match come down to the wire, see it comes out on top. At the moment, I can't say if these type of edits are ruining Tekken or improving Tekken. Who knows? Let me know what you think, innit? But yeah, guys, have a great day. Peace.